First, I just want to again use Ken of Rice's own data mm -hmm. to show you the disingenuity. 2017, the financial and insurance services activities registered by the Ghana Standards, I mean, reported by Ghana Standards Board, mm -hmm. says that the financial sector grew by a negative 17.7%. 2017? Yes, 2017. Okay. Negative? 17.7%. Mm -hmm. And this was from a growth of 8% in 2016. Mm. It became, it, it got to 2018, negative 8.2%. 2018, by half year, we we're doing negative 12.6%. Mm -hmm. So, when Ken Oforiata tells you that the banking sector is strong, it is well capitalized and liquid. He is saying that a banking sector that is growing in the negatives is the best for the people of Ghana. And what is even worse? is that the Bank of Ghana itself is cooking data in order to show this same kind of lies that Ken of Orata is saying. And I want to show you. You see, in, 2000, uh, in 2018, January to June, January to June, the central bank reported the capital adequacy situation of our banks after recapitalization. Mm -hmm. And when they reported the capital adequacy situation, our banks started 1st January with capital adequacy of 17.4%. 1st January 2019? 2019. Okay. And that is by using the stringent rule of Basel 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. You don't need to understand that. Yeah. No, no, I had Fine. it. I never, I've never understood it. Yes. Yeah, you had 17.4%. Mm -hmm. By June, the numbers had deteriorated to 16.3%. Basel 2 and 3 require that you must have a minimum capital situation of 13%. What it means is that our banks had a buffer of just 3.3%. And therefore, the slightest loss, okay, will move our banking sector below the internationally accepted standard of 13%. Okay? And this 13% data... 13% means that if 13% of your customers... No, 13% of your capital... Mm -hmm in terms of its ability to cover for the risk on your balance sheet, mm -hmm. should be a minimum of 13%. That is, if you have a capital that can take care of all the risk on your balance sheet. Risk on your balance sheet means money that people have already taken, uh, money that they could be taking. Loans that you have, mm -hmm. uh, you are looking at uh, uh, exposure to exchange rates mm -hmm. because you may have some portfolios that are in foreign currency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, anything that determines the stress test of your bank, how strong can your, your bank withstand the headwinds? Including the depositors' demands. Exactly. Okay. All of that. But I'll come to the depositors' demands. Mm -hmm. When you put all of that together, you must have capital that covers at least, gives you a buff of about 13%. Mm -hmm. But even 13%, we had 16.3% after recapitalization. Mm -hmm. What it means is that the only buffer we had was 3.3%. Okay. So in case the bank go into the slightest trouble, and they make a loss, okay, that is around 4%, we'll be back to a minimum capital adequacy that is worse than what is expected. And this was released by Bank of Ghana in July. By September, when Bank of Ghana released the data on Ghana's capital adequacy, they went and cooked all the numbers from January to June, forgetting that in July they had released January to June data. Hmm, say that again. By the time they came to release the last Monetary Policy Committee meeting mm -hmm. data, mm -hmm. they went back and changed the capital adequacy that was deteriorating from January all the way to June. Suddenly, the 7.4% became 20.1%. Now, what you are reporting, what you are alleging, I show you are alleging these are major, the major fraud Chief. By, by the Bank of Ghana, Chief. which we cannot associate Chief. with, Chief. Honorable Chief. Isaac Adon. Chief. With the greatest Chief. of respect, you Chief. are alleging Chief. fraud Chief. against Chief. the Bank of Ghana, we the listen. central we bank we don't listen the regulator. To me. We, don't listen to we me. cannot associate with that. Okay, yes. I mean, just disclaim. You yeah, disclaimed yeah, one recently, and mm. the minister went and, uh, and said it yesterday. Oh, uh, really? Yes. I don't remember recently that Recently, you did. I will be telling you. I will be telling you. I will be telling you. Yes. I will tell you one of the things you disclaimed. for that. You but see, this one we disclaimed. This data, yes. at the finance committee meeting, when the Bank of Ghana governor came, mm -hmm. and refused to report on the banking sector, and I took him on, he said there was something on his website. I said, yes, it's good. I've gone there. But when I went there, I saw that you have cooked your data after, after June. 
Oh, you told him? I told him. And I gave this data, these documents, the summary he economic... He didn't threaten to see I said, you I gave better. him the summary economic and financial data. I said, they should go and give it to him to review and see how he himself has suddenly cooked the numbers. He didn't threaten he, you for He the looked liable. at them uh, and later said, they should go and bring my documents. He was quiet. He didn't answer. He left the place. This is Addison. Lack of integrity. Cooking is a very serious cooking, worst cooking. against the governor of the central bank. This is the worst lack of integrity. This is, this is the worst governor I've ever seen. The governor that does not have the slightest shame in cooking data. It's not the first time. I've, I've, had, I've, had, very serious I've, I've had to write officially to him before asking him why all of a sudden he changed all our gross international reserves from November last year. I gave, I wrote a letter to him and leaked that letter to the press. He never responded. Chief, when it comes to Dr. Addison, I have a dossier of lack of credibility on Dr. Addison. And the governor of the central bank is not fit to sit there. Look, I will show you something. I want, you're a lawyer. This is a you're a lawyer. You're a lawyer. I just, at, you're a lawyer. I you're a lawyer. I, I want to quote something what? for you. Act what? This is, uh, what do you call it? Act, uh, 918, the okay. amendment to 61, uh, 612. Okay. Okay. Look at section section 53A1B. What does it say? It says, and this is about the Bank of Ghana reporting to Parliament. And it says, the bank shall submit a report to Parliament once every six months, including, I'm not even talking about the first one, B. It says, a report on any other relevant function being exercised by the bank under various enactments. So, so that the, re banking, re sec the, banking, no, the banking sector reform, yeah, the reform yeah. was undertaken in response to Act 930. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has he come to report? You are a member of parliament. You he hasn't appeared. He, he has, he he has, has held press conferences. Oh, and he has that is all he does. That is explained why he did that. that he did. Okay, so here, the provision says he should hold press conferences. It doesn't say that. Then. So why is he holding press conferences? So he should report to parliament. The appropriate forum to come and get us debate the matter is parliament. I I can't believe that you're saying since the Again, activities of 1st August 2018, the central bank governor has not reported these to parliament. He is not coming. Officially. And, and even when he came recently, Officially, he hasn't. He hasn't. When he came recently, you know what he came to do? He came to report half a year. 1st January to June 2019. What? No, he hasn't reported 2018. No. He and was reporting he, half a year. Pest one to what? The same Pest one to this act. But you didn't point out to him that there are other parts of the act that... There were the things I told him. This act. Uh, this act, I went and bought it that day because of him. And I put it to him that he is in breach of his obligation to parliament 15 months now for 2018. And this is the man enforcing compliance. And when he revokes somebody's license and tells you the person is not complying and he's cooking data, you trust him. How will I trust him? These are person? serious allegations. Let me tell you. Very, but, very serious But allegations. the bank of, you see, the financial sector crisis. In 2017, when Ken was appointed the finance minister, and the board of Bank of Ghana was being constituted. And the governing council and the staff of Securities and Exchange Commission was being constituted. I said, by the time we allow Ken to build this regulatory architecture, he will be the biggest single risk to the financial markets. Today, what is happening in the financial sector is the work of Data Bank and Enterprise Group, tainted triangle of evil. In the financial sector, you see, today I want to tell you a very. These, these are all your. I have a very. These yeah, are all, these are all, all, these are all, I want to meet them in court. Yeah, of these course, are all of course. Words. I want to tell you. We something. disassociate ourselves completely with the Interesting. allegations made by the honourable member of parliament relating to Data Bank, Enterprise Insurance, and the honourable minister Enterprise of finance, yes. the honourable Ken Oforia. I want to tell you one.